looking at those views I could be anywhere in the world but I'm not just anywhere I'm at a place called Titsiston Clay I'm at the base and I'm about ready to make the ascent to the summit where I believe is a hidden view. so I'm going to make it my mission to get up there and cash in that cash sign my name and say that I've took it right now I'm about half a mile away from the car already I'm about half a mile away from the base it's a beautiful day if it wasn't for the walk I'd be enjoying laying down in the grass listening to the plane and if you guys can see it nice little plane look at that you know looking at views like that makes you think how small you really are exploring so that's what we're gonna do now this particular walk is the beginning of one of my 50 walks of Shropshire uh, although I haven't got enough time to today to do the full walk the full walk is eight miles so I think we're actually going to be doing about five in total of that eight but it should be nevertheless a good walk Now the Titterston Clay has been is one of the three highest of all of the hills here in Shropshire. Uh, it's been a mine. They used to mine this hill ever since the Iron Age, all the way to Second World War, I believe. And I remember rightly if we walk a little bit further down this lane we're going to see some of the old mining ruins and we shall also see some more of the mining ruins up at the summit but for now aha here we go I was correct not very often I'm correct about something but I can see this so we're heading down the path and we're just just coming up to the beginning of these mines for the old mine shafts I couldn't tell you exactly what that particular structure is all that I know is from the guidebook it's an old mine or one of the old ruins from the mines now I think they did I think they mined iron here and they most certainly mined coal and they used various I think they're called boys shaft or bows boisey shafts I don't know uh, but basically they dig a hole 100 meters 100 meters in length and, uh, and they dig extract the coal somehow and uh, well I know how they extract it they, they go down there with a big boring machine and bore but, it out so right now I think I've got another hour I think it is going to take me to get to the top so we're going to give it a go and see see what we can see from up there I'm told actually I know because I've been up this hill before but you can see on a good day and today is a good day lots and lots of Shropshire you can see a bit of Hereford and Worcestershire and you can even see into Paris into Wales 
So we'll see what we can see when we get up there. And uh, well, this could be could be an interesting ramble. Um, as I said before, I think there's a geocache up there, so we're going to cash into that and uh, hopefully tag that. Anyway, guys. I'm going to continue walking for a little while and I'll see you in a little minute. I've uh, just come down this little lane a little bit and it's something you don't see very often in England. And some wife. Well, the phone box initially, but the, the chickens as well. You don't see many phone boxes. So yeah, we just come out. It's a little, little village here, just at the side of the side of the main road. Oh wow! Look at that. So yeah, we're going to continue walking up this hill, and we'll see where we end up. I'll see you in a while. Wow. I almost stood on it. Wow. I'm walking up this hill and I'm so happy that I'm looking down. Because look what I almost stood on. A little caterpillar. Now if I hadn't have been Looking where I was walking, I had a stood on that one. But uh, he's a cool little guy, he's about to walk across the road, so I'm not sure I'm going to let him do that because we've got cars coming down the hill. But uh, again, if I'd have been in the car, I'd have missed that. Can you think of any, any reason for not wanting to come out in, to a place like this and start a free exercise plan of walking? Because this is free. You know, okay, it cost me a bit of diesel to drive here. But the whole experience is free and there's no reason I don't think to why anybody can't get out and enjoy what's around them and even if you live in a city it's no more than 30 minutes out of the city to get into a place that's the countryside and enjoy Quiet. Just listen to it. Totally, totally beautiful. Any noise that's coming from here is me, because I'm out of breath. But it is the uphill descent. It's not. It's not going to happen forever. Once I'm up the top, then uh, I can have a bit of rest. Maybe a spot of dinner, a spot of lunch, and uh, take in my surroundings, which is what I'm doing now. I don't know. I think you find these all over the world, but we like them here in the UK. For those of you who are interested, it's a cattle grid. Although some might say it doesn't work on all cattle because I managed to get across it. But hey, I'm just one of those crafty beasts. 
Anyway, South Shropshire, Tits and Clay, on the most beautifulest day that we've had in absolutely ages. Sadly, I'm on my own. No family today, they're at school. And I'm here. It's a bit windy over that way. I'm here taking this in. Wow. Okay. Let's see if we can get to the top. This might seem very crazy to you guys, especially for some people who lives in a county like this. I've just come across one of these little pools, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it on the camera, but I haven't seen any of these in my life. These are actually tadpoles. I don't know if you can see them. There is hundreds of them. Little baby tadpoles. Hundreds. Again, one of those joys of being out in nature without the car, without the distractions, yourself and the world. I'm absolutely uh, blown away by these things. As I say, I've never seen, I don't think I've seen them before. It's a bit windy. Um, yeah, I don't think I've seen them tap hole. I have now, but uh, yeah, if I'd have been in the car, I'd have completely, completely have missed that. So I'm grateful for coming out today and going on a, a little hike. Well, I say the end, we're nearly at the, at the main summit, we're halfway up the hill, I feel like the old grand of Duke of York, of York. I'm quite marching my men up here, but I certainly am. But uh, I was just sitting here thinking of walking up here, not sitting, just walking up thinking. I went on this journey to lose weight to get fit and decide to do something amazing uh, to decide to do something amazing at the end of it which is the, the London to Paris um, but you know you can't just Decide you're going to do it and then just get on a bike and, and go ahead and do it because you're going to give yourself some, some serious harm. Hang on, I'm not very good at this. Um, so, getting out and doing the small walks, starting small, I think it's definitely the key. If I'd have attempted this walk that I'm doing now back in January, there's no way. I'd have probably have just given up and gone back to the car and done what I normally do. And I don't want to be normal. I want to be, I guess, weird and do things slightly different. And I'm going to places that 
I wouldn't normally be visiting. I would here because this is a, a very, very local hill to me. And normally I've driven up this road just up the top there and we've walked up to the summit, which to me is a bit of a cheat. But today I parked all the way down the bottom. We've walked about two miles in total. discovery and to make walking a little bit more fun we've added the geocache there's only one in this area and it's at the top of this hill and I'm gonna go and find it so I'll see you guys hopefully when I get up there well guys I made it I'm here at the top it's quite windy hopefully that's not coming over on the audio too much but I made it, I'm here, finally, finally, at the top stone. Wow, what a view. This was worth it, this really was. Have a look at that. That's there, the brown clay, that's another hill we'll walk up. for a bit and I'm going to let you have a look around this wonderful scenery.